The state capital, the clock is ticking. State lawmakers have less than a week to finish business there, but the real buzz there has been over lawmakers drinking on the job. One legislator has now even apologized for her behavior on the House floor. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live for us at the state capitol. And Susan, what are people saying about all of this? Erin, there's no question that people are talking about this, and it has certainly caused or created a black eye amongst legislators. But, and even though it is certainly not the majority, it is behavior that certainly is unacceptable, and people know that. In fact, drinking has been a problem here at the state capitol, particularly this legislative session. Now, some say it has to do with the pandemic and the fact that less lawmakers or fewer lawmakers are inside the chambers these days because of social distancing and other things. And they've been able to vote on their laptops, which means they're able to vote in their offices at the legislative office building or pretty much anywhere on the grounds. But Yes, the biggest issue or perhaps the biggest incident that has captured the most attention was what happened here in the House chamber last week. Representative Robin Comey was speaking and debating uh, a bill, an education bill. And when she got up to speak, it was very clear something was wrong. She was having difficulty. She kept pausing several times, and it was obvious that she was having a hard time finding words. I, I want to be very clear. Um, there have been incidents on both the Democratic and Republican side um, that needed to be addressed and cleaned up and, and have done that. Now, the House Speaker says that he has addressed this. He has spoken to Representative Comey, but he also points out that this is not a Democratic issue or a Republican issue, that there has been drinking on both sides. As for Representative Comey, she has put out a statement, although we did not see her here at the state capitol today, but yesterday she did put out a statement taking full responsibility for her actions and said that her behavior was based in part on her exhaustion, anxiety, and did admit to having wine during dinner. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 5, you'll hear reaction from Republicans and the governor about drinking here at the state capitol and perhaps the bigger picture the state budget or lack of. We'll have that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 and the battle between the governor and Democrats. We're live outside the House chamber at the state capitol. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.